John in proved to 25 and 15 on the uh, year, and this is fourth uh, ATP World Tour quarterfinal for better. And he also goes over 700 aces on the uh, season. All right, questions for John? Talk about the uh, atmosphere out there. I mean, I'm sitting out in the crowd, and, and people usually go, hey, let's go, John, you know, whatever. They're going, here we go, we're going to do this. You know, it's yeah. almost like you and the crowd against uh, Mueller. Um, yeah, the crowd was great, actually. Uh, being so close to, uh, you know, Athens, there's so many Georgia fans here. So I think you know, I, heard, I heard a lot of barks out there, which was kind of great. I mean, really, the whole crowd was... You know, in my favor, which is to my advantage, and uh, I was able to, to use them to kind of kind of pull me through because the match was pretty ugly, to be honest. But I, you know, I was just proud of the way I, I competed out there. That was, that's the only thing that that got me through, and, and the crowd helped in that in that regard. Did you sense them getting getting a little uh, antsy there, especially in the second set when you know, yeah. Jeff? Did, did, did you feel like you needed to get them back into it almost? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm down break points couple times in the second set and with the way he's serving those you know essentially kind of like baby match points is what you call them um, <laughs> yeah so I was able to play play well when I needed to and early in the second set and, and they, they you know like the crowd would get kind of pump me up when I'm down 15 40 they kind of get up and, and and cheer me on and it really I just didn't want to I didn't want to let them let them down I didn't want to lose my first match here um, this is this is a very important match considering it's the first tournament of the, of the summer. This you, is your first big tournament since Wimbledon. Can you talk about your mindset leaving that and coming into this? Yeah, you know, I didn't really, and I don't, I don't like to say this, but I ha I had a feeling I wasn't going to play, a hundred, you know, my best out there. I just hadn't, you know, obviously I hadn't played a match since Wimbledon, and I hadn't, you know, I haven't practiced like like I I, I wish I, I could have. I just I've had other stuff to do. Um, I mean, another thing, you know, Jill's my opponent. He's probably one of the last guys I, I want to play. Um, first match back, you know, a big serving left-hander. Not going to give you much rhythm. So that was a little bit working against me. But um, like I said, I just told myself just to try to try to compete. And whatever happens, happens. Just make sure I, I compete hard. We haven't had professional tennis here in the Atlanta area in a number of years. What do you think this kind of tournament can do for this area and the popularity yeah. of tennis? Yeah, I mean, the, you know, obviously Atlanta is a huge tennis. Um, you know, I mean, they're the most USTA members of any section in the country by by far. I mean, I was really shocked that you know there hasn't been a tournament here over the last nine years. It's kind of crazy to think about it, considering the tennis participation in, in this city. But now that it's back, um, I think I think it's here to stay. I think the crowds are great. Um, the field, the player field here this year is awesome. You know, as long as you know, they can continue to, you know, bring in good good players like, you know, guys like Andy and Leighton, you know, Marty, Robbie, guys like that, James. Um, you know, at this tournament, I, I hope it will stay here for a very long time. You, uh, Greg Vassalance, you proved 16-5 and five career final set tiebreakers. Yeah. Um, you were talking yesterday about shedding this marathon man label. Yeah. <laughs> How can we do that? Oh, man. <laughs> How can we shed? Well, two hours show? and something today, but... <laughs> The rule that, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, I remember I telling you yesterday, um, you know, usually I compete pretty well. That's what keeps me in these matches. That's why you, why you see them a lot of time when I'm not playing my best. Um, you know, I, the way I compete kind of kind of keeps me in it. Um, so that's that's really the only thing I can draw on tonight, which is the way I, you know, just trying to stay positive and not getting too down on myself. Well, a hard serve and left hander, uh, yeah. like Mike Miller, it, it, it seemed that you were just backing off and kind of letting him have a lot of these, you know, potential backhand uh, service returns. I mean, it's just kind of was that part of your game plan, just to kind of you well, know, save your yeah. energy, so to speak? No, I mean, I just, you know, I didn't want to guess on on his serve. So I've had opponents playing against me when they when they start guessing, and it gives me a lot a lot of confidence. So I, didn't, I mean, I tried to just hold my ground, and he was, you know, he was. Obviously, hitting his spots very, very well tonight. Um, you know, like a, you know, just being, you know, like tall like he is and left-handed, he can hit that. It's the most everybody hates for trying to return that that serve that went out wide, um, the slider. But uh, it wasn't that I was giving it to him. I just, 
you know, he was just hitting his spots. Sean, uh, it seemed like your were having some trouble. You, know, you put a lot of some balls in the net that I had the most time. Yeah. Was, was there a name particular that was even pinpoint or was just, you know, way off? Or how was it yeah, I just hadn't seen a live ball, really, in quite some time. So, but I... I I feel like I was kind of shedding the, the rust off a little bit towards the second and third set. Physically, I felt pretty good as well. So, uh, yeah, like, and I know I'm only going to keep getting better. It's just, you know, tennis players, I mean, a lot of tennis, you, you need a lot of matches, you know, to play a lot of matches, get some wins under your belt, to finally start playing your best. I mean, this win was huge. Maybe one of the biggest wins, you know, of, of the year because, I, you know, I want to, I wanted to get some matches under my belt before I, you know, before I go on to DC and the two Master Series events in the U.S. Open. Down match points and also at Wimbledon. I mean, you even feel pressure, or are you just able to handle it well? Uh, yeah, I feel it. I think I, I handle it well. Um, I've, I've been in that situation a lot before, obviously, and, and I think the first match point I was down, I played a pretty good point. Um, I hit a drop volley winner. It wasn't it wasn't an easy shot, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just needed to keep, you know, staying aggressive and, and playing the right way. And if I lose the point, playing aggressive, so be it. Uh, that's also what I need to take uh, take it on my um, my return game when I have chances, love 30, 30, 40, whatnot. I need to I need to really go for it. I, I can't can't back off because these guys at these levels they're not going to give it to you. Robbie was up here yesterday saying that he felt pressure because he's at home. He has all these people around him that he was trying to find. Do you feel kind of the same sort of? Yeah, thing? yeah. I mean, I, didn't, I wasn't trying to think about it, but you know, I mean, I had you know pretty much the whole crowd on my side tonight. So they, that's a it helps, but it's also it's a different you know, different kind of pressure. You don't want to you don't want to let them down because they're you know they came here to you know kind of watch watch me play, and so you know it's. And a lot of, and a lot of, I have a lot of friends and family here as well. So yeah, I don't, I didn't want to go out, go out early. What, did you feel more pressure with Coach McGill here, or was, <laughs> did you enjoy having him there? And I enjoyed having him here. He's watched lots of my matches, so uh, that was really, really, really nice to see him there in the front row. What did he say to you afterwards? It's a good going. Big, big Bertha was was working and I so we called my serve. Big Bertha. Yeah. Lots of people upset after the match that they didn't. Get your autograph. Why do you think people are so intent on you know, getting your signature? Well, I usually sign a lot of autographs, but they had to get the next match on court. If I, you know, stayed out there for 20 minutes, they're just going to hold the next match up. Um, well, why, I tried to sign it. Why do you think they what? want your autograph? Why is it this frenzy for your autograph? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, they like me, I guess. <laughs> 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 I mean, they're, you know, that's... Sure, it's going to be even ten times worse when when Andy plays tomorrow night. So, oh, it's just little kids and stuff. I wish I could sign it all, but I I just, I just couldn't. Anything else for John? All right, thanks. Yep.